Hi team, uh, today we're going to talk about the five offline proven way to uh, promote your non-emergency medical transportation business. So I'm talking about the offline. If you want to see the video that I did about the way online way to promote your business, go, uh, the link is going to be down below. Uh, you can watch the video. All right, uh, but you know me. I don't go around the bushes. I don't old. I give you everything straight. So let's talk about those five proven ways to grow your non-emergency medical transportation business locally. You know, because <coughs> the marketing, we I think we make it business owner. We so busy because most of us with our one man show or just a husband and wife. So two people, maximum three. So we're doing so much at the time that we forget to focus on the marketing. That's the stuff that's going to bring us the business. So here, he, um, this is an article that I did, a little uh, blog that I did. Oh, my goodness. Don't, don't mind my daughter. So if you want this, you can download it. The link going to be down below the video uh, on my website, Mimi Diallo. So the free, the free, the free resources. So, oh my goodness, this one is, he decided not to be nice. Okay, where were we? <laughs> like I say, we are one man show doing everything. So that was my toddler. So the first thing that, you know, like I say, um, you can download uh, this uh, little thing that I'm going through. So you can have an indie and apply all the things. So this is the first partner with... <laughs> Here there's 10, but I'm gonna just talk about five of them. So partner with local healthcare and community organization or senior living and assisted living facility. That is the same thing to me a little bit. So, so you can contact them, uh, volunteer, or like, like I say, make a little channel, uh, your channel, Talk about stuff in your area, in your county, and propose to make uh, a short report or uh, a short video or promotion thing for free with them, a collaboration, okay? So if they have an event, participate to those events because when you have a direct contract with those facilities, that's where the big money come and the way to have the business because they all... The one that have been in business for several years, now they have the regular company, you no know, an emergency medical transportation to go. So you you have you want to come in and get the contract. So the best way is to build a relationship and trust with them. So you do that by participating to start B. Uh, out of the box thinker, find a way that you can connect with them that are not salesy. So try to offer them to help them to be there for them before you ask for the business. Don't know if you understand. In the previous video, when I talk about the five ways to do it, to promote online, I talk about it in detail. Go watch that video. So you can, um, case worker. That's something we sleep on. Go on Google and Google case worker or case manager, healthcare provider, social worker in my area. It will give you lists. How are you going to know that some people that are on Facebook or social media and they put the title at work on it? So when you get those people, introduce yourself. So if you need a script for that, check my free resource. I have a lot of script there for business owners, you know. So introduce yourself, build a relationship and trust with them, okay? So, and discount, propose them a discount. So the second way is gonna be engage with local caregiver support group. So local caregiver, it can be people even nurses go on facebook i love facebook because they have a groups there find group that are in your area about caregiver let me show you what i'm talking about 
I mean, so caregiver, it can be near me. So it's going to give you a list of group or page or stuff. So caregiver of North West Georgia. So join those group. Caregiver, it can be like people that are nurses or CNA and stuff. Join CNA group. It can be people group for people that are providing care for their loved ones. So there's all kind of fine group that are related about people caring for the elderly or living with a uh, loved one with Down syndrome. So you can find those things, be resourceful, find those groups and join few of them. But if you, when you join, make, pay attention about this thing. This is a small group, but you see eight posts a month. So there is not too much activity in that. Find group that got decent activity posts in the day and when you go in find uh see if they really a good community people talk or it's not spam too much spam so find those group uh we can find <coughs> like uh children with HDAD support group, you see? So find group that is in your area and they got kind of activity you can join and answer those things. So those group are really resourceful. And when you get in those group, don't just go spam, please leave your flyer and everything. No, create meaningful uh, posts. Even if it's code, Put daily code and just put the name of your company at the bottom in the number. That's it. Don't spam it. Be there because it's a support group. Be there to support people. If somebody come and talk about the problem, if you can research to find a solution for it, go ahead and do it. So the thing about those group is to show that you care. And be there for them. So if you are somebody who doesn't have too much time, you the one giving the ride and everything, you can do those things night time, 30 minutes in the nights. When I was building my hair braiding shop, I was like that. I was the one only braiding. So night time when I'm sitting and the kid asleep, I'm not going to sleep yet. I'll go instead of watching TV, I'll go on Facebook and answer, connect. And when you have your profile also, Every day, add at least 10 new friends, tag a new, ask, request friend with people, okay? So how you do that? Make sure you friend people that are in your area. So you put Cartersville, when you put your city name, city, it's going to, and he the answer, going to give you a list of people that are in the city. So be friend with some of them, request the friendship, okay? So that's the, uh, the second way. So first way was to engage with local healthcare, care, senior living, assistant living, and the second caregiver support group. That can be online and offline. There is support group offline that you, I get carry on. I was on the Facebook again and I totally forgot that we took, okay, offline. So offline, you can, um, when you find those care uh, caregiver support group on Google or ask um, in your local community, go to the event. Um, if you can be a sponsor or you can give um, um, a discount, go ahead and do it. Like some of them, they will do like an event, um, that knitting together or like any kind of a bingo or stuff like that take a part to those activity and when you go don't spam people be there to help care okay build a relationship with pharmacy and a medical equipment store so that's go a lot of people oh, sleep on that but that can be a good resource too so the Next one is use offline advertising in key locations. So in your city, 
look around in places that there is a lot of traffic. It doesn't have to be where you believe there's going to be a lot of senior hanging out. You know, you can do places like Walmart, close to the hospital or the pharmacy. Put flyers there, put a sign, yard sign. There is a website on Google that you can go and do like one hundred yard sign for like two hundred dollar or even less. So do those sign and put it there. But one trick because they will pull it out. I used to go like after Friday. Like Friday evening, go put your sign around the city. If you have time on Sunday to go pick them up, do it. But if you don't, that's why I prefer to order 100 at the time. So I just do it there. Some will stay for two weeks. Some, they will tear them out easily. So also places that there is a lot of traffic, like apartment complex or um. Uh, government housing area. So those are good places to put your yard sign, okay? So the next thing here, like I say, if you want this full document of 10 ways, you can um, download it. The link gonna be down below the video, go ahead and do it. Or if you need, uh, I'm a digital, um, I have a digital company, so I can do your brain kits, um, set up your Facebook profile, do your promotion. So for service like that or design your website, go to my website, Mimi Jalo, and find out about it. We got an awesome price with really cheap because we understand that at the beginning, we don't have a lot of money. I've been there. So I totally understand. I want to make this easy for you guys to start and grow and scale your business. So if you know you get any information, useful information for this video, please share it with any small business owner that you know that it, we can help. Uh, and please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So the next thing is the print marketing material. So um, brochure, business card, and flyers. So you can find a website online there. Uh, in the future, we're going to add those service, but... Um, you can find online. Do go on direct mail. So you can do direct mail, um, pay 400 and the post office will send it. You can target the way it send it with to household with certain age or household with disabled uh, person, you know. So you can really make sure that your direct mail is delivered to people who need it. So uh, marketing do, if you have a location, I have a banner. So when people come, they feel like your service is worth it. They, they know and trust you. So put your business card, wherever you get the chance, or if you go to Walmart, you go somewhere, always have a flyer, a brochure, or a business card with you because you don't know when you're going to need it, okay? And you can put, like, those banner um, magnets on your car for that, too. Even your personal car that you drive, put a sign on it. So the last one is to set up a referral program. So reach out each time that you drop somebody or you provide service with somebody to somebody, um, somebody use your service, make sure ask for review. We sleep on that too. So that's one best thing to be the top ranking company on Google My Business. <laughs> so ask for a review. I have a scrape. Um, on how to master to ask a review for people from people for your consumer or like um how to respond to them so you can download that free pdf too go to my free resource on my website so set up a referral program um tell your existing client each time that you send me somebody we give you 20 dollar gift card or whatever, 10% on your next trip, okay? So give them a discount or sometimes tell them uh, after your fifth 
right with us, the sixth one is free, but put a limit mileage. <laughs> you can see it gotta be less than 10 miles. So promote the program to both online and offline. Uh, so really, if you master the online and the offline strategy that I talk about in this video and the uh, one that focus on the online promotion, way to promote your non-emergency medical transportation, you want to see, you're going to grow your clientele. You're gonna have enough business that you can even hire other people, uh, other driver, and bring more car. But it takes consistency. This is not gonna go work overnight. So don't sleep on those uh, ways that I give it to you online and offline way to promote your non-emergency medical transportation. So until next time, keep the hassle on its consistency, consistency too. So if you want to grow your business, so check out my website, Mimi Diallo dot com you can where you can find the free resource and the full our full service that we provide to small business owner all right take care